Hi, and welcome to this question right here. So it's asking you what transformation are used in this tessellation. Well, by looking at this diagram right here, I can kind of say that maybe it's been rotated along the center point right here. Okay, so I can say it's been reflected. Okay, I can say it's reflected from top to bottom, left to right, or it's been translated, for example, just kind of moving left to right or top to bottom again. And I can also say it's been uh, rotate, rotation, uh, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, and finally back again. So this one right here, the transformation that I use, if you picture this as one piece of the polygon here, or the, 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 the figure, we can actually say that this figure right here is being reflected, okay? There's a reflection. And how do we how do we reflect this? Uh, you could ask, you could reflect on the x-axis and then reflect on the y-axis, so it works, right? Uh, and you can also do a translation, okay? Translation. What the translation means is just means you can actually move it. You can pick it up, move it to the left, move it to the right, move it down, move it up. You still get the same figures all over the place, and they're they can stack together. So translation also works just as well. And the last one that I think it's also the rotation will work too. See what we can do is again we can use this as a vertice right here and imagine if I can just rotate it 90 degrees this way and then rotate again 90 degrees this way and rotate 90 degrees you get yourself the four exact same figures okay so the rotation also works just as well as well. That's a lot of well right there. So my answer for this question I have all three of them, reflection, translation, and rotation. Okay? Thanks for watching.